Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have liberated ourselves from Lloyd's Attic. Uh, that's a deep cut right there. That is anyone, a deep uh, cut. If anyone remembers that uh, that little series of <laughs> I mean, remember you know. that series of uh, videos that we did. Um, Disraps for Hire is back once again, and I gotta say, it's good to be back. It's good to see Lloyd doing doing Disraps again. Also, you know the fellows from ERB, you know, taking a break and doing uh, doing what they want to do. Yeah, doing their thing. Also, Peter, congrats on uh, congrats on being preggers with your wife, and uh, hope you have uh, a hope you have a uh, bouncing uh, a uh, delightful bouncing baby, whether it be a boy or a girl. Either way, I hope it's it bounces. Awesome. Yes, hope it's uh, hope it's bouncing. I, I hope it's I hope it's happy. I hope you uh, have a happy. So, baby. are you saying comes you're, out rapping? You're you're pulling for uh, rubber baby buggy bumpers. Jesus. No. I like... So, okay. So, yeah, Bubba the baby bunnies. will probably come out rapping. Its first words are... Its first words probably going to be, yo. Like, could you imagine, like, straight out the womb, just like, yo, what's no, up? No, no, no. First cry just goes... <laughs> I can hear that. I wonder if that kid's just going to, like, just, just all of a sudden just... uh just start spontaneously like rapping as uh, as historical figures. Yeah, he, he just like all of a sudden just com- comes out of the womb. What's up, bitches? Yeah, com- also yeah, like goes into characters Andy Warhol and starts rapping about pop art and everything. <laughs> I'm just like, hmm. Except it's about how he wants pop tart. Yes, like give me pop tarts white now, Dad. Yeah, I'm telling you the truth. This ain't no passing fad. Okay, so yeah, this raps for hire. Let's uh, let's uh, jump right in and see what uh, Lloyd has to be angry about today. So, three, two, one, boom. Uh oh. She was so hot. Uh-huh. I mean, the way she was dressed, she was just uh-huh. asking for me to hook up with her. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Dude, check out the photo I took of her when we went to the bathroom. Uh-huh. Lloyd, my name is Drew. My best friend Alexis moved to New York in October, and in December, started dating this abusive cunt nugget, Corey. He controls her every move. She can't have male friends. She's not allowed on Facebook. He always accuses her of lying and cheating on him, even though he won't let her leave the house. Okay. Uh-oh. Let's see. Even though he won't let her leave the house, if she has to go to the store, he makes her walk so she doesn't have to stop playing. Wow. So he doesn't have to stop playing video games. She cooks for him. She cleans for him. She lets him live in her house rent-free. And I send her and her two daughters money every week because he never helps her out. Lloyd, I'm begging you, destroy this bitch for me. I want my friend back. Okay. Tell that mo- tell that, tell that chick to tell that asshole to move out. I sort of say if he's like he doesn't sound like a very nice person, he definitely doesn't need to be around her kids. Uh, sure. no. no, no. Okay, I have okay. I'm current. Okay, I'm currently going through some drama myself with uh, with some family yeah. members. Yeah, How, how's, um, how's that going? Not good. Not um, good. Uh, not uh, 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 Gary. No, I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna name names and say who's who. But I will say this: pretty much same situation. All the dude in the relationship does is sit around, take pill, you know, crunch pills, and nothing else. He well, sits around on his ass. He says he's got a job, but he hasn't gone to that job in God knows how long. I hasn't mean, made a paycheck from it or anything. He was he was opening packs of sports cards for a while there. Oh, no. He gave, he gave that up the very moment he realized, Sorry. oh, no, there's actually work involved. I don't want to do any of that shit. Yeah. There's yeah. enjoyment in cracking packs of things. No, I know. Wow. I, I personally love it. I mean, honestly, I, heck, guys, I might start doing that myself because, after all, there's a market for it, apparently. I mean, you know. He, he was making money off of it, so why can't I? Or he was selling drugs and then saying it was from the cards. No, it was actually cards. Oh, okay. No, no. The reason selling I know drugs this is because... would pe- be more make, work. People make money off of some weird stuff. I mean, you know... <laughs> I know, right? Wow. That hey. is shade. Ooh, yeah, hey, hey. That's a, okay, ooh. okay. Just for that, Micah, we all need to like do a slow look at the camera, and we all just go, 
Bump, bump, bump. <laughs> wow. We did that good, actually. Well done. Thank you. All right. So, just yeah. point out that there are things he could do instead of just being a horrible person. It's true. Yeah, there he are, could, but uh, he doesn't want that. In all honesty, okay, the only decent person, you. okay, dig this, dig this. His entire family's like this. The only decent person in his family that was even worth a damn was his brother, and he's fucking dead. Oh. I know. Ooh. Very sad. Very, very sad. Head on collision. Oh. And honestly, I hate that this. That I hate that it. The person involved also has two kids of their own, and to to hear that those two kids are going through this shit, I hate it. I hate it with a fiery passion. And I've actually offered, do you want me to kill him? I've, I've made the offer. I mean, offer. I, I wouldn't say that out loud. <laughs> you know. I ain't afraid. On the internet, in I ain't public. Afraid. I ain't afraid. Of course, it's been spoken candidly. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <clears throat> At it's least okay. that's there, what I want you to think. There are timestamps on these videos, so we can actually have an alibi that it wasn't him. Yeah. Because well, odds are... It if, wasn't he's, me. if he's dealing drugs and stuff, somebody might end up killing him. Yeah. That, well, yeah. well, anyway, let's get back to the diss rap. So pretty much I, I, I'm, I'm, I am not directly in this situation, but I am constantly being dragged into it uh, from all sides, and I hate it. And the so, worst part is it's like two hours away. Part of it is two hours away. Uh-huh. The other part's right here. Yeah. Because... They call the person in this area that they always turn to, and I deal with her pretty much every day. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, that's a thing. So, this diss rap. Yep. I cannot wait to hear what Lloyd has to, t oh, it's... to tear into this asshole. Corey. There, is, uh, there so... is vitriol that's coming. Yep. And let's oh, see just how big boy. Lloyd freaks out. Because I remember one time he, like, freaked out so hard he raged, and it caused someone's head to explode. Uh, yeah, this this guy in particular is uh, is kind of asking for it. So let's see what happens. Out on his Facebook, he always accuses her of lying and cheating on him, even though he won't let her leave the house. <laughs> Walking away, huh? You don't want to see it, man. Hey, trust me, one look, you're hooked, man. What are you, some kind of bitch? You thought the hell was gone, but tally on, I'm hearing you. And you'll be happy after hearing that your name's been true. I seen you, you too. You're a good father. You don't want to sing this song with your daughter, Ramona Killers Reed. Homing in on this all week. Targeting a pig with control. Freak on fleek. This rapping the horrible story of Corey and Warden is get gory. I'm a pack of my fist on the back of his throat and it's gonna be staying rent free. She do the cooking and the cleaning of this bum's clutter. Cinderella for a wicked step, motherfucker. But these are oh. tales. This ain't bedtime. You see these type of motherfuckers lately in the headlines. The yep. weak kind behind the scenes abusing power. Corey, Cosby, Weinstein, Lauer. Oh. The name is time this bullshit ends. Alexis walked to the store, but they were rather good boyfriends. Can't help it but destroy this bitch, cause but you're an embarrassment. You got another guy sending money to your girl's kids. What's that say about you, Captain Video Games? Don't wanna check in Facebook, cause all your pictures look ashamed. And they should mail friends, even if they mail. Man, you fail when you front, like you try and keep a nerve in jail. Man, you frail, man, you weak. Wow. Man, you thinking that she cheat when she leave. But there's just out, cause you be lacking self esteem. Come on, man, help Alex. It's done so easily. If you wanna help her out, just hurry up and leave. She was only in New York. But just a month or two, dog, there's 20 million people there and she got stuck with you. Could be doing mm. cool, but now she wish she never moved. Each December now, a Christmas list just says a brand new dude. Right into the Corey, inside the big apple. But I'm snatching back this friend you grabbed, so suck a dick, you asshole. Never resent you, cause much begging for vengeance. Some requests, it's bananas of the sentence. Wolf with the flame, if he's asking destruction, it's random. And now I'm fashion with the manners. Hold the door on Corey's route until this cunt wants to fuck out. Hey, thank you so much for watching this episode Damn. of Disrats for Hire. If you enjoyed it, please click like and subscribe below and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at That's The an Epic angry Boy. Man. If you dig the song and you want to download it, you can use the link below to find it on iTunes or Amazon and all those things. Also, yeah, nasty on that one. And I love it. And details on a live stand-up comedy tour that I'll be doing with my they're, friend Ray good. Johnson. They are good. Until that time, be good. Oh, Lloyd's deuces, a beast. Mooses, yeah, mooses. It goes with deuces. They 
Ryan, and it works. You can say it with your friends. That's really scary. I don't know that I would want to listen to that. Like when I was uh, doing Uh, yeah. Well, honestly, it's for different people. I mean, you never know. Mm-hmm. Someone might be. I mean, heck. The guy who sent him the diss, you know, who he wanted to diss, That's might true. listen to this while he's working out, like getting ready to yeah, go with that guy's that. ass. Just like, just like, just like, Corey is dead. Fuck him. I and, mean, yeah. <clears throat> fuck Corey. Seriously. Fuck Corey. Hashtag fuck Corey. You've never seen these before? No. They're real good. Oh, they are very good. I like them. They're good. They're good stuff. Oh, yeah, and, and Lloyd's rapping style is, I think, a lot... The style that you like. Yeah, I did. Uh, faster pace, uh, mm-hmm. a lot of intellect, a lot of wit, and a lot of just. <clears throat> I get the sense that you like. Uh, you ever heard Logic? You ever heard of Logic, the rapper? No. Okay. Uh, there's some stuff Logic's done that's actually been really, really good. And I think anyone who I think anyone who likes good, witty, uh, you know, intent, you know, with with good intent rap, I mean. Should check definitely check out Logic, but Lloyd he's done diss raps for hire since, jeez, well, 2012 I think is when he started doing uh, these. Maybe I mean we can check that surprisingly easily. Oh yeah, um, diss raps for hire. Well, the okay, so let me let me ask you this: um, Have you seen any of Lloyd's other work? For example, 2011 ep- epic rap battles of history. <clears throat> You ever seen any of the epic rap? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Did you know it was the same guy? No. Okay. Yeah, that's. It's the same guy. Yeah, it's the same know. guy from Epic Rap Battles. I'm not like, y- y- you know, I'm trying to help. Okay, so yeah. this raps for hire started in 2011, and man, he Lloyd stays busy. Lloyd stays busy. Yes, he's he always does. got he's always got something on his plate, and he's always doing something, and you know it's not ERB. He's doing diss raps, or he's doing Epic Studios, or he's doing. I mean, the guy's got a killer work ethic for a lot of his stuff, and honestly, I think, I mean, I think that, I was, I'd like to collab with, with Lloyd sometime, I mean, because, you know, I do music, and also, my buddy Chad raps like a friggin' fiend, so, <laughs> I think him and Chad would get along famously. Chad's also in a punk rock band called Porno Arcade, so, hey, you might enjoy that. Speaking of which, actually, that's something we need to do. I forgot about that. I actually uh, forgot about that for the last few weeks. Well, porn in an arcade? Porno arcade. That's just going to get you kicked out, Heather. <laughs> no. Hey, well, actually, I'll tell you all the story about about how the, the band formed and everything. But in terms of this diss rap, uh, did you think that Lloyd conveyed the message properly as to how this guy, Corey, can straight get fucked? Yeah. Well, but here's the question. Will Corey ever see this? I think I he will. So. I I hope so, but I don't well, know. Well, because if that guy is a dedicated fan, I guarantee you, he's going to send it to Corey. I hope so. He's going to send it to Corey, and then Corey's name will thus live in infamy forever because he's going to be one of the dudes that, that Lloyd disrapped. Yeah. He's going to be one of the dudes that Lloyd just laid into and honestly spit some truth on. I mean, it's not... It's <laughs> I, Guys, being a good person is not that difficult. Being a good person is very punk rock. It is. Yeah. Being a good person is not that difficult. I mean, honestly, just think more for others than you think for yourself. Stop being such a selfish prick. I mean, especially when they have kids. But do take care of yourself. Well, take oh, yeah. care. Well, no, no, no. I'm not saying don't have any self-respect. Hey, Heather, I hope you no. uh, are listening when you're saying take care of yourself. He- Heather, I'm not saying don't take care of yourself. It's no, just, oh, no, I'm thing. saying, Heather, take care of it, yourself. Here's the thing. Empathy and apathy are pe- people treat empathy like it's like it's a like it's a chore. Empathy is very easy. It's different. Apathy is apathy is so easy, but at the same time, apathy is real easy. And for some reason, people are more drawn to be uh, apathetic towards people than empathetic. And I hate that. I mean, because uh, they want to treat uh, and also. People want to, like, hold up the fact that, oh, I did something good for somebody. Pat me on the back and call me a good person. It's like, (laughs) no. (laughs) Honestly, you should do something good because it's what you want if you were in that situation. Case in point, if someone is down on their luck and needs a helping hand in some way, I don't do it just so someone can pat me on the back and say, hey, you're a good person. 
No, instead I do it because, hey, I want to help out. I want to help someone out because I've been in bad situations before and I didn't like it. So if I can help raise someone up and help somebody rise above where they are and get to a different and get to a new level, then I'm all for that. It's just like helping out Heather with her channel, helping out Wyndham with her channel, helping out you know Micah with his channel if he ever fully gets on board and starts it. <laughs> what channel? <laughs> I mean, how many subscribers do you have? Eh, like 600 and something. Exactly! You don't even have what a single video on there. Hell, nope. Micah. And you don't have a single video on there. I got mad one time and tried to delete it, but I can't do that on mobile, so... No, don't don't delete your channel, dude. I mean, after all, there's some stuff that's happening that you might want to post some stuff on there. Now. I mean, you know, why not? You know, there's there's I mean, especially stuff that's especially happening. given the given the introduction I made with you I mean, and everything. You know, there's gonna be. I'm not cool gonna stuff like happening. ride somebody else's coattails. No, I'm not riding their coattails. He wants to do stuff too. Yeah, and if he wants to do stuff too, well, and then, you and you have he, your then own he channel can do as well. It. I'm not gonna like. You don't have to ride his coattails. Just say, hey, it's no big thing. Yeah. If you want to check out this guy, here, here's his channel, too. Right. I read the coattails. I'm not going to, like, try and pull him <laughs> oh, into whatever. Heather. No, you going. don't have to pull him in. He can do his own thing. You can do your own thing, and you can mutually benefit from it. It's not riding his coattails. It's called business venture. Jeez. It would feel like I was riding his coattails. You'd if I feel that him way, into. but in all honesty, you don't know that. To him, he might benefit greatly from having you in there, and he might, and you might benefit greatly from having him in there. It go, it can go either way. It all depends on it's how true. the chips fall. It's you true. never know until you try. I mean, honestly, man. I mean, it doesn't have to be anything big. Just like like ten, fifteen second videos on there. Just like just like, hey, check this out. This is a uh, this is a uh, some uh, new stuff we're making right here. Uh, hey, if you're interested in seeing more, head over to his channel right here. Blah blah blah, and all that. Boom. Same thing he can do for you. It's it's called networking. I mean, honestly, you're a logistics man. I'm a networking guy. Micah right. is just nodding like, I don't want to. Okay. Micah's just like, I want to go home now. God. You see, this is what I get. This is what I get for trying. This is what I get for trying to help people. Anyway, uh, this was Disraps for Hire. This was uh, this was the uh, Season 2, Episode 9, Corey. The uh, so-called cunt nugget from the comment. And, uh, well... I thought Lloyd did a killer job uh, laying the smacketh down on his candy ass, and uh, can't wait to see what uh, can't wait to see what else we get from Lloyd here in the next uh, few months. So, without further ado, that's gonna do it. Uh, if you want a link to the original video, link is in the description down below. Check out Lloyd's channel. Be sure to ch be sure to check out every other every other thing he's got on there. Check out Epic Studios. Check out his uh, original raps. Heck, check out ERB. I mean, heck, you've probably seen ERB by now, especially if you're on our channel. <laughs> I mean, um, you know. Because it's one of the biggest reasons we got popular is because of ERP. <laughs> so check those out. And I guess until next time, signing off, I'm Nate. I'm Ben. I'm Heather. Micah. And Chico is over here asleep yeah. until Heather tries to pet his butt and then he growls. Oh, and speaking of networking, you can check out this awesome lady's channel in the uh, description right down below. Mm -hmm. She's uh, on her, ro on her uh, way to 1,000 subs and should be there before the end of the month. So 129 away. Yep. So if you want to if you want to be a part of that, feel free. And if you want to go bug Micah about uh, making videos, Micah makes. <laughs> Micah makes. Have fun with yes. that. <laughs> yeah. And until next time everybody, we're going to keep trying to. Until next time everybody, signing off. Uh, we'll see you later. Peace out.